Good morning, Antique and Garden Showcase friends. Today, we're going to go out and do a little shopping. You're probably watching the Wednesday video about the time that I'm recording this. I decided it's time to get out of the house. I need to get out and find some things and just get out of the house. So I'm actually at the Kentucky Bucky's. You can probably see the sign through the window back there. Filling up with the, the tank of gas this morning and getting ready to head out and find some new things for me or the booth. We'll just see what today turns out. But this video may go over a course of a few days as well. Like I said, this is Wednesday that I'm starting this. So I have until Friday to get the editing done. So for those of you that do not know, there is only one Bucky's um, convenience store location in Kentucky and it's right here in Richmond off I-75. So you can actually YouTube that. There's a lot of people who've covered this particular store. It's kind of almost like its own carnival in itself. So my first stop today is going to be this little flea market that I frequent quite often. I've found several things in here to keep and to actually resell. So a lot of neat places here. This is just uh, one of many stops I have planned today, but let's go in here and see what I can find today. Well, this day has already landed a few good things at the first stop. I got a nice footstool, got a little brass shelf here that I really like, and a couple of glass pieces there, a hen on nest that I'll sell, and then a piece that's for my mom in there. That's a, it's a small bowl that matches a big bowl that was her mother's, so she'll enjoy that. Anyway, on to the next stop. Well, I just grabbed a quick lunch, and I'm at the Rags to Riches Antique Center Flea Mall now, so I'm gonna go in here and see what I can come up with in this uh, particular uh, shop. It's a pretty large one. I've been in here before and I've had some pretty good luck in the past. Uh, actually, one of the planters I kept for the wall around our driveway that I need to actually paint black, I bought here last year. I did not video inside the Rags to Riches, but I did come out with this one little odd green gazebo style shelf with leaves on it. Kind of the sun's glaring on it there, but. That's all I found today, which is kind of unusual for in there. I usually come out with at least four or five things, but still nice little piece. Um, I think it'll look neat in the booth. So here we are at Charmed. We're gonna go in and look around. I'm gonna see what I can find in here. You can always tell them by their little, cute little truck they have outside the building here. I did not have a chance to show you inside some of these stores yesterday. Um, yeah, it is the next day. So I'm going back and looking at uh, some of the things that I purchased. The stores all had music playing, had a lot of people in them, so it's kind of disturbing, you know, to videotape in a lot of places. But I picked these up at Charmed. These were little um, tricycle planters, little vintage planters. I thought these were really cute. They're gonna be going up to the booth really soon. And also I picked up this gazebo style shelf, which is kind of neat. Um, I think that'll look pretty in maybe somebody's garden room or even a kitchen or something, kind of a neat color. And then this little two shelf, brass shelf, I got right here as well. It's got kind of a neat profile to it. Be pretty hanging up in a bathroom, laundry room, or anywhere. So those were a couple of the items that I picked up there. Also, I picked up a um, crystal eagle. So I'll put a picture of the crystal eagle up on the screen so you can see it. There was a hen on a nest that I picked up as well. And there's a couple other items that I just can't think of right now. I'll put those up and let you take a look at those. Uh, and I'll put descriptions up below them. Well, it's day two and I made some really good purchases yesterday um, when I took that little trip to those three shops. Today I've been to three shops already in Lexington, our largest uh, city here in Kentucky. Um, close to me and I found nothing. Uh, I had to end up taking a cabinet door over here to be repaired um, at a wood uh, shop uh, from our kitchen. I had a little accident in there where one of the doors got damaged and uh, I thought well while I'm over here I'll do a little shopping around but whew, nothing. Nothing that I even seen that I collect. Nothing that I saw that I could resell. So it's pretty much an empty-handed day so far so we're gonna keep moving on see what else we can find. Well, the trip to Lexington did not pan out. It did not produce anything for me yesterday at all. And finally, I just gave up and went and did a little shopping at Trader Joe's and kind of finished out the day that way. So today wasn't feeling all that great. I didn't get out of the house. So I thought, well, I'm just going to wrap up the video here. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe at the end of the video, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.